Hi guys, it's Owie with Chaos Monkey and I have a finish. So this was from the Alpaca Direct um, Kelly's Knit Club for, oh hold on, I think it was July, Ch double checking, for July. This was the Out of the Box Socks and I did finish these. Now I got a different colorway than she shows, so this was my colorway that was provided and I think this is, it's a Zober Ball Stark 6 and it is uh, 150 grams total in the color camouflage is what I got. So just to let you know why it's going to look different than the picture. And then we also had the um, toes and heels were done in, this is an alpaca blend just to let you guys see from Barocco. It was Ultra Alpaca Light which was in color 42186 and it is 50% super fine alpaca and 50% Peruvian wool. So that was for the um, toes and heels and that's both of my balls. There were two at a time socks and in the um, here in the pattern she does also does videos so um, in, if you're in the club she'll give you like a a link for the videos or um, what you might call it. There's an app that you can actually put on your phone to get to the videos, which is really awesome. So she's ac actually every month she tries to teach you some skills. So this month was toe up and um, a certain heel and all of that good stuff. So uh, I just did what I normally do because I always do toe up socks, as you guys know. So I just did my normal fish lips kiss heel and all of that. Um, and the Judy's Magic cast on I already knew how to do. So here's my finish, and then my other finish, and you'll notice that the stripes don't match exactly. I tried to match them up, but the funny thing is, on this ball, the color striping repeats were so long that I couldn't line them up again, so I just I just started wherever on both balls, which is fine. Um, and as you can see, even in this, there was never a repeat on any of these. So there's no way I could pull to a repeat without like pulling out half the ball on this particular colorway. So I didn't and I, I like it. Looks good. Um, then for me I also did the toes, the heels, and the cuff in the alpaca. I think Kelly just did the toes and heels looks like. Yeah. Just double checking. Her heels um, and toes were in the uh, alpaca and then she just did a regular um, cuff with the main yarn, and I did mine in the contrast yarn. So that was pretty much the only difference. Pattern was easy to follow. Um, the yarn was really good to work with, um, very fun to work with. And in fact, I have so much yarn left over. I think I had like 36 on one ball and 41 on the other ball. That you know, you add it together, that's like 77. Um, what did I measure down? I'm pretty sure it was grams. 77 grams out of 150 grams. So I could probably make some shorty socks or some fingerless mitts with the leftovers and then maybe just use this for the cuff of the fingerless mitts because there's only 12, one's 12 and one's 15 grams of this leftover. So I would just do like just the cuff portion even on the shorty socks um, because you'd probably run out if you tried to do a heel and a cuff. Um, not quite enough, but there is enough leftovers to still use them up, which is cool. And I really like the pattern. I'll try to show you guys the lace pattern. It's a pretty simple lace repeat. It kept it interesting. You can still see it even with the color changing yarn. I was worried you'd lose it completely, but it still shows up really nicely in this yarn. And of course the other side is solid, so you kind of get a break when you're working on the back and then just lace on the front. And I did my Judy's Magic cast on wedge toe. I think she shows you how to do a rounded toe. Um, if that's what you want to try, that's great. But I know a rounded toe won't work on me because I have really pointy toes. So, And I knew these socks were for me. And if you hear my kitten, he's he's not a kitten. He's a full-grown cat, but you might hear him in the background. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. I'll let you out in a minute. So, yeah, I think that's it. I just wanted to show you the finish. Um, I did film this before, um, but unfortunately I accidentally deleted it, <laughs> so I'm filming it again for you guys. Um, 
But yeah, fun pattern, fun yarn. I really enjoyed working with it. Um, I, you know, I'm going to save them for winter to start wearing them in the winter. They are pretty thick socks, so they're probably not the kind of socks you could wear in your shoes, especially with all the lacy goodness, but they would definitely be good house socks or slipper socks. Um, just to wear around or under in some slippers or just as slippers. So, yeah, a lot of fun. It went pretty quickly. I liked working with both the yarns. Um, no problems working with the yarns at all. And so that was fun. So I'm going to save these and probably do, maybe do some fingerless mitts in the future. And that's it. All right, you guys, I hope everybody is doing well and hanging in there and getting a lot of projects done. Um, I'm trying. Um, trying to get some, at least some of my, a couple of my monthly clubs done every month so I don't fall too far behind. All right, you guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.